Hey hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Omsi Reddy. Uh, today we are go this is the second video on my SQL. Previous video I have explained about uh, uh, some of the definitions about uh, what is mean by data, uh, DBMS, uh, what are the applications are we are using the DBMS and relation database and uh, how the SQL is divided. These are the things I have explained previous video. Please watch that video and uh, you can clearly understand this video. Okay, this is a structure. Uh, I have collected this picture from one of the, my test book. Uh, I have read it, and this is a whole the process uh, process of the execution database and store the databases things so like uh, here the there where is the database in the form of uh, web forms and application front ends and SQL uh, inter interface. There is a small thing here the SQL commands. This is the main thing we are. Uh, writing the commands in internally it works on the planning executor and optimizer operational evaluator files and accessing method buffer method and disk space manager this all comes under the dbms and uh, finally the data base is stored in the system files index files and data files on system category this is a process hold the process when the file is uh, moved into the data files the data files is again moved into the system code log and again let's move into the files uh, this is the overall the relations uh, between this uh, structure of the data dbms so now we move into the practical way how to create the data and uh, how to um, create the tables and how to create the databases and how to show the database and these are the things i will show you now and uh, now first uh, i'm creating for creating the data this is the topics of uh, today we explain like creating a database, database showing and creating the tables, showing the tables, drop the database and drop the columns. These are the basics and you can clearly understand. So let's start. And uh, I'm first of all uh, to create the database, we need to uh, find uh, keyword as a create. And uh, I'm which type of things I'm creating database like uh, give you a database name. I am giving the database name like students and colon semicolon so to execute this uh, query uh, simply we can press the keyboard in uh, control press enter automatically it will execute it and we have get here output as here so we have created the database here the create database is uh, students so let's show uh, show the database the database uh, and showing the database uh, uh, what are the database I have contained in my system previously and this is the database uh, ADM information schema SQL and performance schema these are the here the uh, student database is stored where uh, we have creating that database so now we want to use that database uh, so that's why this query is used use database database name I'm using the database students so successfully we have used the students so now we want to enter the students uh, history in here so like uh, related to the students what are the things they have like id number name first name last name email and role numbers something department branches uh, these are the things related to the students so now we want to create the table let's start the create the table create table I am creating the table by name of stu info student info this is student info and I am creating the columns in this table like first one id id is in int form so it is a numeric form id is in form and the next one is a first name of a student I am passing the var character objective because the names are stored in strings I am passing up to 30 words and last name last name where cat it is one of the data type to store the data and i am passing the last name also 30 and um, next i am passing the uh, branch which type of branch he was uh, so branch um, where cat Passing the value card into five letters so, uh, and some more things which are related to students like uh, uh, department, uh, department, 
which department the student belongs to like EC, CSC or many more mechanic uh, some more things uh, we have and uh, finally email id of a student email id of a student is clearly 30 i'm passing the 30 variables and uh, this is the things uh, finally i'm closing this uh, table and executed here if anything is uh, given an error means is uh, display here but uh, it's all that we have created the table so let's see how the our table from that for that describe and describing the student dot info yeah this is the information we have up to now we have stored this is the columns like id first name last name branch department email these are the things and uh, where uh, stored in the table and the the table is stored in one of the student database so why default here the null values uh, so we can clear uh, this null values in upcoming videos how to clear this up null values uh, using some of the keys and there is a some of the keys like primary key and foreign key some of the keys i will explain in next videos and up to now so see that basics how to create the database and how to create the tables and how to draw uh, drop the databases and etc so up to now we have After now we have seen here uh, how to create the database we have seen and showing the database we have seen and creating the database we have seen and showing the database also we have seen. So let's move into the uh, uh, fifth one that is uh, drop the uh, database and drop the columns. So this is the initial here and uh, now I am dropping the whole the data uh, columns like which type uh, have created. Drop the column table and dropping the table which I have created yeah, here drop table is successfully completed so now we don't have that table show the tables and uh, we have don't have any table to show us so finally after uh, dropping the tables uh, I will directly drop database we can directly drop the database by using the name drop so finally I have dropped the database and now show that uh, just check if our database is uh, dropped or not like database shows the database so see here uh, where a student database is not here so finally we like i think that uh, we know that uh, database is dropped all what we have created up to now everything is uh, dropped so this is a th techniques uh, this is a you know, simple queries we can know about how to create the database and tables and drop the tables and on my next videos i will explain how to in, uh, insert the data into that columns and uh, how to modify that columns how to update that columns and how to delete the each and every column of things these are overall things i will explain about next video i hope you are like this video and please like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more updates okay friends bye take care